is Daisy and welcome back to my channel. This is Tell Me Why. I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, we're back at the house. Wait, before we do any before we continue, I want to say in the last episode, at the end, there they went look back in the police station and I thought I saw something move while I was editing. I looked at it and yes, there was something moving in the police station and it looked creepy AF. Just wanted to put that out there. Let's continue the video. Stop! Oh crap! Allison! Allison! Oh! She is aiming the gun. Oh wait, there's something in the background. It's like that thing in the police station. Mad Hunter! What is that? Oh my god! The Mad Hunter is real and scary and oh my gosh, what is she doing? Please mom, I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No, please. Okay. So it wasn't Tyler. What? So it wasn't Tyler, it was Allison who stabbed their mother. That's what they were lying Allison. about. I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. Aww. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. God. It was like she was maybe maybe she was possessed by the mad hunter. I don't know. But that's so sweet. He took the blame for his sister. And his sister was just protecting him. That was only chapter one. Holy flippin' baloney. Okay, Allison was happy that Tyler accepted uh, Eddie's peace offering. Only 74 accept the ring. Okay. Allison was delighted to solve the Princess Widow with her brother. 81% solved the puzzle. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. 52 chose Tyler's memory. Tyler was assured of the bond of Allison. She sided with him at the station. 30% sided with Eddie. Tyler earns Sam respect. The defendant calls Sam. Tessa opened up to twins about Marianne. 47 learned the truth. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she decided with him at the station. Okay. So this is chapter two. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Oh, heck, TV, no, yeah. Oh, crap. This is language we are speaking. Because he definitely knows something more, and he definitely doesn't want to share it. I mean, I mean, sure, there's probably protocols and stuff for that. Uh, to get those kind of records out 
but still. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. Oh, baby Tessa's the frog. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Creepy. I'm trying to get a go creeped out. <laughs> Are we watching another one? Are we breaking into the police station? Oh no, we're seeing the rest of the... The rest of this. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. You be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this must be the night. Because they're wearing the same outfits. All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Okay. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. That story was in the book when we read it. Ollie? What a waste. Thank you. 
remembering all this. That's crazy though. That he took the blame for his sister. turned out if this would never happen to them. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. <laughs> We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No, <laughs> on your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, <laughs> I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks? Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, 
That oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. <laughs> no pickles, ketchup, maybe. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Oh, gross. Mm -mm. So good. Yikes. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Uh, we'll trash it. We ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh. Oh, God. That's. What's that smell? That smell smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunt for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to check. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Ooh, I can turn this thing into a terrarium. Hey, remember Volcano? Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. You know better. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Finish your salad first. Ew. Thank you, Tessa. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, I'm quite right, love. She can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. Uh, they're happy memories. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... Don't worry, I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. 
which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. He is the move, because he must have taught them fish right! I love that I'm right. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. What is that? What did I pick up? I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, what about you? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. Are you gonna keep doing that? <laughs> yeah. I really like that armchair. For your force shack. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was answer. actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Pete. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Yeah, sometimes he likes it and... Okay. And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Really well, so. then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Uh, I mean, they can, well, that one doesn't look that great to be fixed up. But that one, I bet if you put some new cushions on there, it would be really nice because it has a little wood carving. A little wood carving hey, business. Allison. Come take a break with me. I cannot get anything done with you, mister. What are you doing? Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Uh, choose tea, choose coffee. Those are my options. Let's choose tea. Earl Grey or chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut! Hear it in the wind! Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair. 
and never mean. Oh, yeah, y you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Well, before we do that... Aha! Goblin What's this here. doing down here? Is that... gum? Gross! Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Hey, Allison. Let's look at our drawings. Alright. But before I do that, I gotta... What to do with this? Uh, I think we could sell this one. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Alright, let's go see our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because <laughs> I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. <laughs> and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Well, I already read the story, so I already know who I think it is. Why can't I look... Oh, so we have to... That one's definitely Testa. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. Yep. <laughs> you go here. And I think that's... That's literally it. Alright. I think I'm done. You sure? Uh, definitely. I really think that's right. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people. Or this one. Oh, these guys? The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. <laughs> yep. Totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. <laughs> that guy is scary AF. <laughs> Hate him. Are we not going to say anything about that one? You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! Holy sh... Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that with my entire being! I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison. I sure hope so. <laughs> Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Yo. Who was knocking at the door? Uh, great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. <laughs> We're not done with this conversation. Was 
Morning, Sam. Well, hoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. A knife? Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. What was that? The casserole? It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. Fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Oh, great. Wait, I wasn't done with the house, though. I guess I am. <laughs> Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. So he's saying that he really did love her, huh? We're walking. We're walking. Alright. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. I love you, Red. You really helped her out, huh? Now, oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that door key. We still have our keys? Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... <laughs> figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? No, you said you'd be Here, son. Yourself. Give me a try. Go ahead. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. Oh, good job. You broke the handle. No oh, shit. Another thing to fix. Good job, guys. Good job. Our heroes. Let me in. Why, well, you guys figure that shit out. Oh, well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's easy enough to fix. All right, that fuse box is not going to fix itself. You know what? I love looking around first. Anything in here worth looking? No? All right. Fix that sucker. All right. Oh, Fuses crap. go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Oh no. Oh no. What? Man? Right. Let's take a look. Wait. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to send that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot of work. Okay, the first one's called a dryer water heater, then the kitchen, then the outlet, and then the lights. And then the generator heater, and then the garage. Okay. And this one. Oh man. Marianne, 
Yeah, we're at that electric board. I gotta run. Let's the case you wanna check out. Yeah, Careful sure. not to overboard Thank the circuits. You. Oh. You'll have Shit. to use the 15 oh. amp fuses for the garage. You okay? Amps yeah. up to 120 yeah. for the whole house. It's Sam. Yes, I'm pretty proud of myself Frick for the ones that I respected the right color code. Each fuse should have the right color code. High school. Okay, so only 15 amp around. for the garage. No, oh, Phil. Okay. Well, I got hurt. Damn. That's rock. Wait. Uh, I think that's the garage, right? Yeah, the garage. Okay. We will place the 15. Hmm. Alright. That's fine. Problem yeah. must be the latch. Okay. No shit. It's covered in rust. Yeah, nothing okay. a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> mm. Sure could go for a margarita. Okay, so it has to add up to 120. A margarita? Really? Right. Okay. Sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. 60? Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, fair insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. You can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks, you know. We're not getting a gun, Sam. Okay. Let's try this one. Let's go to 60 and uh, 230 equals 60. Well, don't stick your nose in that there. That should be it, right? I could take a damn bouquet. I hope I'm getting this right. Mildew is always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? Ha! Hey, now. Watch yourself. We just need to clean it with... Wait, that's not right. Be sure you don't need to... Crap! Hang. Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, <laughs> did you read the note next to the box? I did read the stupid note by the box. I asked if they got a rub, but in case you want to see it. Absolutely, I'll do Oh, for the whole house. My bad. My bad. Okay, let's remove all of these. Remove. 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 Silver bit. Okay. It needs to be forced back onto the brass bit. Not that That's one. probably what we're Those were both 15, so. Probably so. You've got a good head for this stuff. So yeah, 30? well, oh you're not the only I need a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I am not good with numbers. Pretty much took an army to keep this place standing. I once took an army to keep this place standing. Come on, Bone, Bone. 15 plus 15. It's 30, I was right, and 120 for the entire house. So if we put huh. 30 for the kitchen, 30 for the, the nope. heater, have to pick some up at the Becky's. 30. Anyways, see how oh. loose the bolt is? Crap. Strike needs to be replaced. Does, Does that 30. mean can't fix the door? Um, yeah. Huh. Not today. So much for an so easy fix. So we don't want that. We need. So two fifteens. Okay. So all right. Oops. Oops. My bad. Okay. So place a fuse in the kitchen. I think thirty. Right. That's the kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. Yeah. And then the water heater. I believe definitely a thirty. And then the other two could be a fifteen. Right. I hope I got it right this time. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful, you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Okay, remove this one, I guess. A 20? 
Do the math, Allison. No, I don't understand the numbers. Okay, so it has to be a 30. Hey, don't get frustrated. Try again. Tyler, the voice of reason. Okay. Hey, do you see any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Hey, what did I say? She's doing this on her own, man. Oh my Look, God. I'm all for strong, independent. Shut up, Sam! <laughs> they don't want anyone hurt themselves, right? Thanks, I but I'm no lady. I forgot, that's what he said. I am so confused, I hate this. I'm not a woman. <laughs> what the hell, no, remove that. Place the stupid. 20. I forgot he said that. Oh man, Daisy, you could have avoided all of this. Alright, wait. Okay, remove that stupid one. Here. No, the wrong one. I keep hitting the wrong one because I. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> I have never claimed to be the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay. Freaking mm. boom! Seems good. Holy heck, to the jazz fippy vein. <laughs> that was literally torture. I hate life. Game kind of outbrained me. Oh, girls, that's where the gun was, huh? Disgusting. You damn fool. He really did care for her. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Poor Sam. He really cared for Marianne. I just want him to have a hug. Twins? Hug. <laughs> He's so upset. You can tell. Bye. 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 Aww. Oh, poor Sam. What was that about? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that go back. Remind me to take it down later. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not. <laughs> yeah. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Hey there, little buddy. I hate spiders. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. <laughs> yeah, same. Gross. No, I can't handle spiders. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Alright. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. So she she could have been an artist creative. instead of just locking herself up out here. I feel like she was really running from something. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Allison, do you know who this is? 
What did you find? Do you know who that is? Who? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. How are we not freaked out by those things? Come on, it's gonna get infected. To. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Uh, Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... I said get out! Out! What'd she throw at him? What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Oh. I don't know. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and well, memory's a tricky thing. That's Wait. true. When did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. True that. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. 
No. I'll go get my car keys. No, not right but now. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. I was still looking at things. No. 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 Well, I guess we'll never know. I'm going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, lovelies. Bye-bye.